I mean, he raised his voice at me, and he was rude, and I hung up on him a few times, but he never crosses a certain line with me. He always knows where not to go. Um, but I, I ended the call, you know? All right, well, you shouldn't allow him to raise his voice at you or speak to you disrespectfully. You have to set boundaries with him. I know, Brian, and I've tinkered with the idea that if, for whatever reason, he gets worse, um, I know he's my baby's father and my husband, but I would never cross it off the list that, you know, I, I could get a restraining order against him. If you're not getting back together with him and he wants nothing to do with his son and all he's doing is harassing you, then maybe it's already time for that restraining order. No. I, I don't think... Did I give Junior a bath last... I didn't! I didn't give Junior a bath last night, and I didn't brush his teeth either. I was so flustered by everything that... Great, now that he has school tomorrow, I don't have time tonight. God, I'm so stupid! Hey, whoa. Why are you beating yourself up? You're flipping out over something a little small here, no? No, because I'm his only parent right now. How did I forget to give him a bath? How did I forget to brush his teeth? I never wanted to be that type of parent. My mom always gave me soda when I was little, and I had bottle rot. She never brushed my teeth, and I don't want to become that. I'm better than that. And then I'm sending him to school tomorrow. I don't want him dirty, and I don't have time to bathe him tonight, and I, I'm just better than that. I get that, Miranda, but you can't beat yourself up. You're going to make mistakes. Your life is a little chaotic right now, and what you're stressing over is, again, it's a little small compared to other things. To you it's small because you don't understand what it's like to be a single parent. You don't have kids. I'm doing this all by myself. I know, I know I'm not a parent. I'll never be a parent. I'm infertile, remember? I'm sorry. I didn't mean it like that. I wasn't... Thinking, right? It's all right. I get it, you say things when you're upset. But I'm just saying you don't need to get so upset over this. Brian, I'm sorry. I just had a child services case wrongfully opened on me. My, my son's godmother, my aunt, is breathing down my neck with, they, they, my mom, them, they pay attention to every little thing, not to mention my mother-in-law. I don't wanna mess up, I don't wanna give anyone, I don't wanna give anyone ammo that I'm struggling. I don't want anyone to think I'm struggling. I want to be on top of things. Keep going back to that, I don't understand. Why do you care what everyone thinks of you? You're taking care of your son by yourself. That's the only thing that should matter. Who cares what your mother thinks? Why do you care how you look as a mom and if you mess up here and there? It only matters what Junior thinks. Because I don't want to be a stereotype. I. I don't want to be called the single mom. My name's Miranda. I'm not the baby mama. I'm not the single mom. I'm not um, the ex-wife. I'm Miranda. I don't want to be a stereotype. People are going to call you whatever the hell they want. You have no control over that. Do you think your, your baby's father is ever going to refer to you anything other than his ex-wife? Just focus on yourself because right now, you're acting like a stereotype. You're acting like the struggling single mother, and you're better than that. Brian, if you're going to be in my life, please don't give me unsolicited advice anymore about parenting. And I don't mean this as a knock because you don't have any kids or anything like that. I'm just over advice. You have zero idea what it's like to be a single parent, a single mom, or anything like that. So please don't mansplain anything to me on how I need to, to act or behave. I'm coping in my own way. All right. I'm, uh, I'm going to get going. Junior, let's take a bath.